hi everyone and welcome in this video we will see how you can flash the at command firmware in the a9g board okay so i have connected this a9g board with my system using this usb to serial converter also i have powered up the a9g board using this micro usb cable so in this video we are going to flash the at command firmware in the a9g board so we will see the step-by-step -step guide that how you can flash the at command firmware in the a9g board okay so i have created a block for you okay with all the steps that how you can perform this action so you can see first of all you have to download the firmware burning tool and the firmware file okay you can just click here to download the firmware burning tool so once you click here your download will start okay you can see firmware burning tool is downloading and after that you have to download the at command firmware for the a9g board you can visit the website okay you can visit the ai thinker website and you can download the at command firmware for a9 or a9g board using this link okay otherwise you can directly click here download firmware file to download that firmware file okay so you can see the firmware file is downloading so for convenience i have already downloaded the firmware file and the firmware burning tool okay so it's on my desktop so you can see here firmware uh, tool and here is the firmware file so, so we want to launch the firmware tool so that is why we have to open this uh, folder firmware tool folder and here you can see we have to search for fupupgrade.exe application okay so here you can see fupupgrade.exe so we have to launch this application and once you launch this application it will look like this so you can double click here to launch that application okay you can see uh, the application is look like same okay after that we have to select the firmware file so you just have to click on this three dot to select the firmware file so click here navigate to desktop and here we have the firmware file you can see the extension is afw okay so you have to select this file and here you can see we have got the comport 5 okay now we have to prepare the a9g board but i have already prepared the a9g board so that is why i am getting the comport 5 here so this is how you have to make the connection between your a9g board and the usb to serial converter okay so this rx is going to connect with the first pin after this antenna okay you can see here this is the rx okay and which is connected to the first pin after the antenna which is in the green color cable and the second one is orange color cable which is connected on the second pin after the antenna okay and which is connected to the tx okay and you have to provide the 5 volt and ground either from this uh, usb to serial converter or as i have provided using this micro usb cable you have to uh, turn on the power of the a9g board sometime what happened this module is not capable to provide the uh, power which required for a9g board okay so that is why you have to use this uh, micro usb cable to power up your a9g board okay after connection you can see the com port okay uh, in my system it is connected on the com5 so that is why i am seeing com5 after that you can click on the start button to start flashing the at command firmware to the a9g board so you just have to click on this start button okay and it will start flashing the at command firmware into the a9g board via this usb to serial converter it will take a few moment okay so don't worry about it you can see status five percent seven percent nine percent okay so it is writing the at command firmware to the a9g board so you have to wait until it get complete 100 percent okay you can see uh, status is 100 percent and the progress is passed so we have successfully uh, flashed the at command firmware in the a9g board now if you want to test it then how can you test it so we will do the exit for now okay are you sure you want to exit yes after that we will navigate to the download folder and we will search for the ai thinker serial tool okay so you have to double click here to open the uh, ai thinker serial tool after that uh, we are connected on the com5 okay so that is why i'm going to open the serial okay and i'm going to send the at let me disconnect the board first and then we will again do it okay 
we have disconnected the board let me close the application we will connect the board again okay so board is connected let me again open the serial tool we will open the serial port here and we will send the AT yeah there is one mistake okay if you want to test your A9G board AT command from where then you have to change the connection so you have to replace this connection with this cable okay so you have to replace your RXTX connection like this okay so let me turn off the power again let me turn it on again okay now we will close it and then again we will open the serial tool and uh, here we will open the serial and then we will send the AT command you can see once we send the AT command we have received the response okay and here you can see the firmware version and everything okay and you can see the A9G board is ready so if you want to test the A9G board then you have to change the uh, RXDX pins okay so to flash the AT command firmware or to flash any firmware in the A9G board this is the circuit diagram okay but uh, if you want to test the NNG board or if you want to work with the NNG board then you have to change the RXT expense okay so just a moment let me grab the uh, circuit diagram for you okay so this will be the circuit diagram when you want to test the NNG board so uh, you have to connect this to uh, RX and TX pin with this CP2102 okay and then after you have to send the AT command to this A9G board and then after it will respond to your AT commands if you use this kind of connection diagram after flashing the firmware then it will not work you have to change the connection diagram for working with the A9G board directly from the serial connection okay so this is how you have to connect RX and TX so TX will be go to the second pin okay and the RX will be go to the first pin and uh, I'm sorry yeah here you can see the TX is orange pin but here the TX is in the green pin okay so I hope you got the uh, idea that how you have to connect to okay so after flashing the AT command from where to the A9G board you have to change the connection diagram with A9G board okay then after it will work and then after it will respond so if I again send the AT command then you will receive okay message okay so this is how you have to make the connection and this is how you can flash the ET command from where in the A9G board so here is the step by step process you can download the burning tool from here you can download the firmware file from here and I have explained everything step by step okay so here I have used the micro USB cable to power up the A9G board I am not using the 5 volt from this module okay Be because it's uh, not turning on my board okay so that's why I have to use the micro USB cable to turn on my NNG board okay so make sure if your NNG board is not turning on then you have to use this kind of uh, system so I hope this thing is clear and if you still have any question or any concern regarding how to flash AT command from where in the NNG board then also you can ping me on telegram Instagram WhatsApp also you can uh, comment on this video also you can email me okay so we will meet you in the next video and in the next video maybe we are going to flash the micropython firmware in the NNG board so you can use thony micropython id to program your NNG board directly without any external microcontroller okay so stay tuned for the next video till then take care goodbye and thank you